hello, it's Lita Lums Apotheca, Health and Beauty Hacks, and today we are going to discuss evening primrose oil, which is really good because it's got a lot of GLA, gamma linoic acid, linolic, linolic acid, very good for anti-inflammation in the body, really awesome for female issues, which you've probably heard of for acneic skin, but also good for men with acne or and men generally. Let's discuss why it's good for both men and women, shall we? Okay, guys, so this is just a sports research brand I got from Amazon. I'm not, sh I don't know it, what the best brand is, but it's the, got, it's cold pressed. Of course you want cold pressed, not heat extracted or somehow. So anyways, let's discuss why evening primrose oil is so awesome. I'll tell you a story also of major PMSing in my 20s and the story about evening primrose oil. It's a happy ending. Gamma linoic acid, linoic, linolic. This is 10% apparently within evening primrose oil. This is a acid found in seeds. Now, uh, I think more and more research, you don't want too much vegetable oil, right? You don't want, you don't want trans fatty acids, but you do want good fats, good fats like gano, gamma linoleic acid, which is found in seed oils like black currant seed oil, evening primrose oil, and barrage oil. They're all seeds. Dr. Mercola says that evening primrose oil, he thinks is actually the best for all people, not just women. I thought this was mostly for women issues and acne. A lot of people have a lot of acne stories of this healing, this, the acne naturally, so that's neat. Mm, gamma linoleic, let's just call it GLA from now on. Let's discuss the importance of prostaglandins, which are originally found in the prostate, and they're basically fatty acids. They're found in every tissue in your body, and they make hormones, they protect your digestive lining from acids, they, they keep your blood from being too sticky, right, and make, causing clogged arteries, and also they help with your immune response, and they help produce work, make tissues in your body. So inflammation of the joints, rheumatoid arthritis, there's, and your brain function, prostaglandins in every tissue. Prostaglandins are made from good fats, like GLA, and also the other good fats which are only found in animal. EDA and DHA are the other good fats which you want that are found only in grass-fed butter, grass-fed animal liver or butter coming from cows that eat rapidly growing grass-fed foods and uh, also krill oil, cod liver oil, right? You don't want necessarily just regular fish oil because that is usually rancid and not good for you. So that, as well as these seed oils that contain GLA, eating primrose oil, the borage, and the black currant oil. Okay, so these are the good fats that help pro produce, that are what prostaglandins are made of that are a part of so many different functions in your body, right? Not only found in your prostate where they're named of, but their immune response, they make your blood not sticky and stuck against the artery rolls, they produce hormones, the anti-inflammation, like if you have a funky knee, right? It's inflamed, you might not have enough prostaglandins, right? You might not have enough GLA and EDA and DHA, all the good fats to help create those prostaglandins, which are healing your joints and your body tissues, everything. People are all commonly deficient in GLA if they're not producing enough prostaglandins. That's the bottom line, all right? So GLA though, a lot of people with acne will benefit from this because it's helping the inflammation of the skin. It's also great for dry skin, for people with dry skin. It's skin beautifying, well how nice. Eat your internal oils to help make your skin beautiful right you can also put it on your skin mountain rose herbs has amazing evening primrose oil which you can you put on your face but i think more benefit would be taking it internally it supports a lot of female issues like female issues meaning like pms tender breasts or really painful menstrual cramps this will really really help and i just remembered this recently i didn't even feel my la latest menstrual experience usually i have like a, a kick into gear uterine uterine contractions but i didn't not nothing this time around so that's it was just smooth sailing which is great menstrual month <laughs> helps with PT, pcos also helps with fibroids and any uterine uh, thing 
like endometriosis. Endometriosis or fibroids helps, helps with that infertility. This is really helpful for infertility. So anyways, the recommended dosage is 15 milligrams a day. And these are apparently 1300 milligrams. So I've just taken one a day, sometimes two. The recommendation I was told is first day of menses until your ovulation. So roughly the first 15 days of your period of your menstrual cycle. I've been digging it. So here's the story. I remember in my 20s, I was just getting so aggro and I knew it was hormonal, menstrual. It was just one day. And I, I was walking by a health food store and I was remembering evening primrose oil and I bought some and I took it and it was almost immediate. I was just like eased. It just was soothing, lubricating my experience. It was amazing. I think it's probably the most like, I was just craving it and it really helped. I was just having brain meltdown. It makes sense that like it's lubricating. It, it lubricates your system, your brain, your, your emotional responses, your hormones, your joints, your inside your arteries and your skin, man. How could I forget the skin? GLA, very high potency, and evening primrose oil, seed oils. I wonder if it's in flaxseed oil, but it's in flaxseed oil as well. But of course you want where it's most potent and bioavailable. So whether this brand is the best, I'm not sure, but I'm digging it. But I'm doing this now because actually I've ne it just has such an effect on your menses. Huge effect. Inflammation, rheumatoid arthritis, what else? Reducing skin irritation. So if you have something like eczema, or psoriasis or acne dude i would give it a try not a uh, bad idea <laughs> helps you lose weight also helps you lose weight partly maybe because it's balancing your hormones look at how pretty they are mm, i just oh, i want i always want to chew them i want to just but really i think it's better to swallow them so that it gets absorbed in your small intestines mm. i just want to chew it i'm gonna drink it horse pill so i guess that'll be my second one i'm gonna do since i just rem started remembering this again i'm still taking my fermented cod liver oil and cooking with coconut oil sometimes i'll swish around with it you know this is my main one right now so kind of alternate the internal like oh i'm gonna take this a little bit more right now and follow your physical your, your cravings your body krill oil or grass-fed butter you know that that kind of good oils mixed with some krill oil or fermented cod liver oil and just a blend um and then you got your seed oils right you got your barrage oil evening primrose oil has the highest po uh, content of gla gamma linoleic acid these are all the healthy omega-3s that's what you want you don't want to eat too many omega-6s you want more omega-3s because you don't get as many generally pain reducing like if you have like back pain, if you have pain somewhere, inflammation, it'd be a good idea to up your GLA, yo. Okay? Fertility increases the cervical mucus. And for some reason it blooms at night. Isn't that pretty evening primrose? Maybe that's why the people have been like, oh, it's for fem wim women because it's so pretty and rosy. It's kind of ov ovularic, ovulationary <laughs> ovulation because the evening primrose oil, it blooms at night and then it closes the day. It's cyclical, just like the women's body. Isn't that pretty? Nature reflecting itself. All right, I think that's it, man. I think that's it. So find an evening primrose oil, especially if you have any issues, acne, if you have any issues, get some evening <laughs> primrose oil. You might be lacking in GLA. With a lot of these diseases, they find that they're lacking in GLA. Yay, we did it! Can you hear that plane going overhead? Even primrose oil, acne, inflammation, anything. And if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's discuss evening primrose oil or any other fun oils you take. Get your good oil on, lubricate the insides, get it? If you like that video please give a thumbs up and subscribe and i hope you have a lubricated oily day hormone skins bra brain function oh. <sighs> like evening they oh, like the the g what i can't read my hand uh uh the Hello! Oh, hi! Oh, God. There's always some noise happening when I want to videotape. Videotape? What's that? 
if you wanted more economy. <laughs> Where were we? Okay. <clears throat> hey, gamma, gamma, gamma. Know exactly what those are. What is it called? Wait, what is it? The hair in my eyeball. Did I get it? Maybe an, uh, round, di, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, duh. Ooh.